the curse is broken. Our God, however, turned the curse into a blessing. Nehemiah 13 verse 2. It has to be the most in the Bible. What certain man the Bible says God turned a curse on Israel into a blessing. Seems way too powerful a statement to surround it with punctuation that typically indicates an afterthought. God broke the curse. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? May Almighty God bless you and be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. This passage in Nehemiah refers to the time Moab hired Balaam to put a curse on Israel. Nehemiah 22. And every time Balaam tried, the Lord intervened and changed his intended curse into a blessing. God's power to turn curse into a blessing and alter the flow of history cannot be overstated. Nowhere is it that that evidence more than at Calvary. We are condemned to hell, but because of Jesus' sacrifice, the curse was broken. Fallen mankind was given the opportunity to become redeemed. No matter how indebted to our sinful lifestyle we become, Jesus paid the price to secure our freedom. The curse was turned into a blessing, no matter how many Balaams tried to convince us otherwise. He now lives within us and empowers us to become like him. Sin cannot enslave us, not anymore. Jesus overcome the greatest curse on mankind to make available the greatest blessing, life in the spirit of Christ. Hallelujah. So, in our lives, I don't know who might have caused you that you will not progress. I don't know who might have caused your family that your family will not progress every time you continue going on deliverance. Let me tell you, the cause of a human being is useless. Jesus Christ has paid the price for us. So we are going to pray and thank God. Thank him for breaking the curse of evil people on us. Lord Jesus, thank you for what you did on the cross for us. Thank you for turning the curse into a blessing. May we never take our freedom for granted. Think about this. The Lord Almighty has saved you. Who is that person that can lay curse on a child of God? Now, if curses are put into place through sin, then true repentance must be the starting point if they are to be broken. Only then can spiritual authority be exercised effectively to remove the effects of curses. Yes, telling us that Jesus Christ, only him can remove this curse. If curses are put into place through sin, then you need true repentance. You really need to repent and be a child of God. Leave everything completely to God. He will do those things for you. He will make you to be okay. God will turn that curses to blessing. Hallelujah. Those of you who are left will waste away in the lands of their enemies because of their sins. Also, because of their father's sins, they will waste away. Leviticus 26, 39, 42. You can read it on and on. You will know that God is able to help you. The book of Jeremiah 14, 10, 21 says, O Lord, we acknowledge our wickedness and the guilt of our fathers who have sinned against you. Remember your covenant with us and do not break it. That's the word of God. Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 6 to 7 says, I confess the sins we Israelites, including myself and my father's house, have committed against you. Daniel chapter 9, verse 8 says, O Lord, we and our kings, our prince, and our fathers are covered with shame because we have sinned against you. Both we and our ancestors have sinned. We have committed iniquity, have done wickedly our ancestors, then they were in Egypt. Do we remember the Bible like that in the book of Psalm 106, verse 6? So what I'm just telling you is this. As long as Jesus Christ has went to the cross and shed that blood, Anybody that have laid a curse, some people even boast that they laid a curse on this person. Let me tell you, tell them that their curse is nonsense. Don't put it in mind. Don't fear. 
Move on as a child of God. Nothing will harm you. Because the Lord, Almighty God, Jesus Christ, have gone to the cross. He defeated Satan. He died and resurrected after three days. With that resurrection powers, all your curses, if you feel so, they are destroyed in Jesus' name. So you are a child of God, child of the kingdom of heaven. Nothing can harm you. The causes of the enemy cannot do you any harm. Just repent. Repent and be close to God. Have a relationship with God. Know Jesus Christ by yourself and he will make a way for you in Jesus' name. Amen. And again, I want to just finish this video with 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Everybody knows about the story of Javed. This one is God can break the chains of generational curses. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother named him Jabez, saying, Because I bore him with pain. Now Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you bless me indeed and enlarge my brother, that your hand might be with me, and that you will keep me from harm, that it may not pain me. And God granted him what he requested. Do you see? That Almighty God is ever ready. To change that curse to blessing. Hallelujah. The curse are broken. Jesus Christ. Mighty name. Amen.